Good morning, folks. We're focused on the sun and Earth's magnetic field today. We'll be checking out aspects of the sunspots that catch our attention, hear more about the aftermath of the great solar storm earlier this month, and about issues Earth's changing field is causing. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that we had a few M-class solar flares from the southern incoming active region, those returning spots from earlier this month. They have changed, but still have a good deal of potential in them, as exemplified by the X-class flare two days ago and the continued CME production. The leading elements are not as complex as when they departed two weeks ago. That's the good news. The bad news is there appears to be more to the active region still coming over the limb. We'll be watching. And don't forget we also have the northern spots as well. Not only are they compact in configuration, but there appears to be a good-sized plasma filament threaded through the sunspot group. That will need to be monitored as flare-disrupted filaments can make some of the biggest CMEs of all. We're hearing an official call for system glitch reports to be sent in to the government after major communications disruptions happened during that great solar storm earlier this month. They want any and all information to assess the extent of the disruption that they noticed on their end. But it wasn't just technology. The weather connection got even more obvious as it was one of the most insanely bad months for severe outbreaks. It began right after the X-class solar flares began and took only a brief break last week before more flaring preceded the latest outbreak, which has caused a considerable number of deaths. And there were also tremendous flooding incidents across the globe and a pretty terrible cyclone that just struck northeast Indian Ocean. Look to the east of India here. Massive low develops and begin spinning just before slamming into the eastern India and Bangladesh zone. More than 35,000 homes were destroyed along the heavily populated coastal region there. Absolutely brutal events the last four weeks. Lastly here today, a new study has shown how poorly the models of Earth's magnetic field are able to account for daily and secular variation of Earth's magnetic field. Not only do they fail to account for the variability due to space weather, but the rapid changes in Earth's magnetic field are complicating their modeling efforts as well. It's not news to most of you watching here at this channel, but I figured you might want to know the scientists are publicly crying their frustrations about it. How interesting. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the sunspots, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.